I'm actually preparing four four video sets. Out of that, uh, this is the first video set. Okay. As a first step, we have to install client, and we can point to the devices and uh, search for this. Uh, type their computer name. In my case, I'm typing lab. So I'm targeting here lab one. If client is installed, you'll get a, a client as yes on the tab. Okay. In this case, there are, you can see as no. Here is yes. And uh, if the machine is online, you can get the tick mark as green. Now I'm searching for the lab one or lab. Lab one. So out of that, you know, I'm going to, you know, work on only one machine. Right click, install client. Install, just choose the last two checkboxes. Yeah. And click on next. That gets installed the client. Okay, it's so easy. If you wanted to see uh, further troubleshooting, you can log into the lab one machine and see. You can do even RDB from the machine, start, RDB client, automatically this connects to RDB. Of course, you have to enter username and password. And in the control panel, you can open the, uh, you would get here a configuration manager. If you see there is nothing now, but soon uh, you may get it. Let's point to the physical installation of the folder, which is C colon Windows. There's a folder called at this point of time for installation CCM setup. I should be open with the admin rights. And there's a folder called logs. Uh, and if you see here the client once we push it from here, what happens is it is background. It copies some files to a Windows directory. Then it starts ex executing to the from the target machine uh, CCM client uh, CCM setup folder. Okay. And if the once the client is installed successfully, you can check uh, uh, under you know UIT collection. For example, I have created here. So in this case, you know the UIT machines are you know just a zero at this point of time. Once the client is installed, you know a client should you know get it as yes. Let me add here the machine. This is how you know you to add. In my case, I'm just selecting only one machine. Make sure that, you know, you should be very careful when you're, you know, selecting. So in this case, one. Now, in a minute, it gets added. Otherwise, you can, you know, do a refresh or most of the time, you know, if uh, it is not showing in that case, you can do the right-click collection membership and update membership. So this makes actually the membership to, you know, revalidate it. So this helps actually, okay. And then if you see the count is already showing as one after I refresh, right? Yeah, it's still busy uh, and the count is one. So I can see the machine also. Yeah, now the client is no, but it is assigned the site code as P01. It takes some time. Um, see if you see earlier the folder has only few files now it got in a lot of files that means it's getting installed the client so if I wait you know another five or ten minutes I get you know everything that's a ccm setup.log file is the actual installation log file uh, you know you, you can find the complete installation details in that once the client is installed it will delete all those files automatically okay and uh, if I refresh here, or you know, if I close and reopen, also I get the SCSIM client uh, applet here. So it takes some time, basically. Uh, yeah. So I have to you know go to the small icon so you can see there when I'm trying to install. Yeah, client installation takes client installation takes approximately fifteen to thirty minutes. Um, uh, we started around 11 24 or 22 between so it takes you know maximum maximum time for the client installation would be 30 minutes or uh, one hour sometimes in a worst case but in this case it should you know gets installed see if you see silver light got installed now here uh, system center gets 
and the software center that's where you get your task sequence as advertisement like you know for your in place upgrade or you know whatever the upgrades it will show you here if the mission got you know updated in the collection uh, as client does yes and it should pull the policy okay now let me drive to the once again the control panel see i could see that configuration manager applet so I have all the tabs if I don't have all the tabs that means a client has already uh, contacted almost the uh, SSM server to get required things okay on a working mission you get all these you know number uh, number of actions actually and if you want to force any time you know you can get the mission policy force it so that it gets automatic uh, policy uh, you know from the SSM server at this point of time, we are going to the SSM server and uh, trying to validate whether this machine is part of the uh, collection and the client is yes. <clears throat> In this case, oh, okay, it's not there. Uh, let's you know uh, close that and you know reopen or refresh our collection update membership. This gets you know automatically. Yeah, I should you know show as the client as yes. In fact, so let's tell it is busy. Yeah, if you see the client is yes, but the green icon is not still there, but that's okay for now um, because it just got installed in a few minutes. It gets, you know, automatically the client um, icon is a green. Okay. We can also initiate the mission policy. That's client notification, right click and download mission policy. So that what happens is that actually pulls the mission policy and um, automatically client gets you know that policy so <coughs> let's see yeah. if I wait for a few minutes or you know I can do once again also so the steps are at the first point is find your target device and install the client and then add that machine to uh, right target uh, collection in future i'm going to you know create one more collection also i'll explain that later but at this point of time you know i have one collection so i have you know added to this if you see all the advertisements there uh, i know that's called you know deployments we call it so all these uh, deployments are, are targeted out of that one is a required that means uh, uh, without user interaction it gets you know automatically triggered as soon as the client uh, contacted management point management point is SSM server that's one of the role okay uh, technically I'm sorry for that but you know SSM server once it's contacted you would get here all the uh, those deployments automatically if at all it has already installed you know it will show in install status but you know otherwise it should be in you know, available status but it's a mandatory so it will not show in uh, available as soon as it shows it Im immediately it goes to the uh, required uh, phase okay yeah. and uh, uh, maybe I can cover this into the next video session. Uh, thanks for watching this.